Um, the second I saw her, I was like, that's my dog. I want to take her on as a foster. The first thing we noticed was just how resilient she was. She had her jaw wired shut. She had a muzzle on and still she was just so full of energy, so full of love. What's she doing? I don't think we'll ever know what her story is. Hi, hey, sweetheart. You give me kisses? My guess is that she was a stray and got hit by a car. <laughs> oh, I love her. I know, she's so sweet. We brought her home and that was the first time she met Duke. As soon as they saw each other, they were all tail wags and they were happy. But we had to keep them separated because of all of her injuries. Did your friend push that? You good boy. And they were always trying to play. We were just like, okay, she's gonna have to be out because they were just crying between the fence. Come on, honey, you want me to get her out? I can't. We were able to keep them separated for probably three days. I know. I know, I know, baby. He loves her so much. He does love her so much. I know, honey. She's got to stay in there. So we're like, okay, they can hang out with each other, but they just can't play. We let her out, and the cuddling ensued right away. They were all over each other. Duke was like licking her muzzle, trying to like gently pull it off of her. No, Duke. No. Hey, uh-uh. She'd see Duke running around and chewing on toys, and that was the hardest for her because she couldn't chew. It was five months or so of her being restricted. We finally got the okay. The vet said that she could take everything off and she's good, she's healed, everything's fine. So we're like, okay, let's go to PetSmart and pick her out her own toys. It was like somebody bottled pure happiness and just gave back to her. Oh, it's <laughs> We were excited for Duke to be able to see her with no muzzle on. Duke, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? I told you she was coming home. She was able to really be free and was able to be a dog. We actually got to see her personality and just see her shine. Opal is so squirrely and she does this tail wag where she will move her entire body. Are you okay? We always joke and say that she's Duke's dog. That's her buddy, that's her person. So when we started seeing how bonded they were becoming, we knew we can't separate the two of them. Hi, pretty girl. Happy adoption day, I was like, we are going to adopt her on Betty White's birthday. So we've always joked that she's our little old lady. It's okay. One of the best parts of adopting Opal is seeing Duke have a companion. They've been there for each other, just like two best friends. It's such a beautiful thing.